Bill Hudnut's passion for doing what he thought was right brought him face to face with a kindred spirit and in a surprising place. Hudnut and the late Andy Jacobs Jr. ran against each other for Congress twice. Here are two very strong-willed people who saw the world pretty differently, who bang heads and yet emerge from it, if not immediately, then fairly quickly as uh, kindred spirits and remained that way uh, for the rest of Andy's life. And it said a lot about the character of the two people, but it probably said a little something about the character of the times. Andy was integrity through and through. So we, we'd go to these basements and uh, have a dialogue in front of people, and he'd sit in the back of the room, he loved the joke. Andy was Andy, and he was a character, but he was a very successful character. After I became mayor, and after he was back in Congress, and he might have been right, calling our efforts to revive Union Station a turkey. Uh, we, we still remained friends. Our kids stayed with their kids when they were little. That was fun. Then that's the um, christening gown. Yeah. Kim made um, Christopher's christening gown, and um, even she, she sewed little blue elephants. She embroidered little blue elephants on the interior slip. And Kim had made the window coverings for the new home we had bought when we sold the condo. Andy was there hanging out on election day. And when Andy awesome. began to get sick, Bev and I would drop over there and visit with Andy laying in his bed. And we'd go see him when he was in the hospital a couple times. We were very good friends, and I wish it could be that way with a lot. And maybe it is behind the scenes, but in public, you don't see that much anymore uh, between Democrats and Republicans.